much for staying with us. On Sports News, Nyota will be telling us the last-minute changes the Super Eagles coach is making ahead of Friday's game. Thank you, Marinda. Super Eagles coach Gianna Raw has confirmed that Ikechuku Ezenwa will start in goal for Nigeria against Cameroon on Friday in the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifier. Coach Raw revealed that FC Fine Yuba goalkeeper becomes the first choice following Daniel Akpei's injury. The German tactician appealed for support for the 28-year-old. We've seen also that uh, Daniel Akpei is coming with a little injury. And uh, yesterday in the training sessions, the injury is coming back. So uh, this boy from uh, Nigeria will start the game, Zenwa. We have all confidence in him. He did very well with the Chan team. He trained very well. We have a second goalkeeper coach also. We work very hard on this position. And uh, we are sure that he will do well. All the team will be with him, of course. We try to protect him, to give, give him confidence. And uh, I'm sure that uh, the crowd in Uyo will help him also to be in confidence. And Reading has signed Fulham forward Sonny Aluko on a four-year contract and a deal worth about £7.5 million. A 20-year-old Nigerian international who can play up front or on the wings has moved to Madechi Stadium after just a year at Craven Cottage. He started out with Birmingham City and went on to play for Aberdeen, Rangers and Hull before joining the Londoners. Aluko could make his Reading debut against Bristol City on September 9. In the meantime, Liverpool has agreed a £40 million deal to sign Arsenal and England midfielder Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. A 24-year-old rejected a move to Chelsea on Tuesday after a fee had been agreed. Oxlade-Chamberlain has started each of Arsenal's four games so far this season, despite telling manager Arsene Wenger that he would not sign a new contract. A fee would have been Liverpool's club record deal, but the Reds have agreed to sign RB Leipzig's Naby Keita next summer for £48 million. That's it on Sports News. Melina will be back with the rest of the news at 10. Thank you, Niota. The storm is not yet over. That's the chilly message delivered by the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, to residents as the rain continues to pour. Flooding in certain areas may last another week. More than 20 people are reported dead and large parts of the city of Houston are still underwater. Rain that was received in the greater Harris County area has set an all-time record. Now that rain has moved to the Beaumont region in southeast Texas. Uh, approximately 15 inches of rain have already fallen in the area, and uh, there's more to come. The worst is not yet over for southeast Texas as far as the rain is concerned. Uh, there will be ongoing challenges both during the time that rain continues to fall as well as for approximately four days to a week to come. In India, the monsoon rains are also taking their toll in Mumbai, where five people have been killed, including two children. The weatherman says more rains are expected, although the situation has improved for now. Supporters of Zimbabwe's President Robert Mugabe and his wife Grace have held a solidarity march in the capital Harare. The march is seen as a public backing for Mrs. Mugabe after she was accused of assaulting a South African woman in a hotel in Johannesburg. The issue was only resolved after she was granted a diplomatic immunity by the South African government. In the meantime, a coalition of opposition supporters had vowed to protest the decision outside the South African embassy in the capital, but it has not taken place for now. And the main news again. Suspected kidnapper Chukudumimi Onwa Madike, also known as Evans, today pleaded guilty to allegations of kidnap as his lawyer claimed he was intimidated by the police. Also today, President Muhammadu Buhari got a standing ovation from cabinet members as he presided over his first Federal Executive Council meeting before leaving for his hometown, Dara, for the Salah celebrations. 
Governor of Texas has asked residents today to prepare for the worst as Storm Harvey is not yet over. And that's the news at 10. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akinwanya.